Oh, holy shit. Yeah, hi. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know, fuck Rampage. I'm not staying watching that shit. It puts this tape in. Who fucking cares? It is time for your SmackDown and spoiler Rampage review. Oh, it's Fight the Fest week two. Who fucking cares? It's tape garbage, okay? So the rumors were lies. Fucking Meltzer and, again, this is why you shouldn't probably fucking believe. But obviously, but you know what? Unless fucking W or, or somebody from WWE was trying to fool Meltzer and all these fucking dirt sheets. So the dirt sheets were fucking lies. Lesnar actually showed up. So he, he didn't leave. He didn't walk out. All those people are just saying, you know, where is Lesnar? Where is WWE? Like, they apologize like they did for Sasha and Naomi. Well, guess what? This is going to show that Lesnar is actually a fucking businessman. He's not going to fucking cry or whatever. But the thing is, even if he fucking leaves, let's say this, if WWE, if he actually leaves, he probably have more of justification of leaving than fucking Sasha and Naomi who were actually who were given the chance. But, like, you know, with Lesnar, let's be honest here. If he was to leave, he would leave fucking if it was stupid shit, okay? If it was, like, fucking f the idea of legit, like, having him, let's say, do some stupid gay bullshit. But, again, Lesnar doesn't need to do this, you understand, people? You understand that Lesnar doesn't need, even need his company? He can leave whatever he wants. But he's there even when his pal fucking Vince is not there. And you guys fucking go on and hate on him. Lesnar's still a fucking man, but this goes to show also that he's still favored by these people. He's still favored by the people in the back like Stephanie and Triple H or whatever. So what does that tell you? He's always going to be favoring everybody because he's a businessman and fucking, let's be honest here, he still fucking draws. Okay, and I'm happy that he was there. Definitely surprised. If anything, definitely gave that surprise feel that, wow, Lesnar was actually there tonight. Does that mean the show was good? No, it was fucking still the same shit. So, it's the new era, the show without Vince McMahon, and it's still shit, but obviously a cool ending, because when you have a cool wrestler, obviously that's good. So fuck the dirt sheets, fuck the, like, Dave Meltzer, Brian Alvarez, and all these fucking, you know, plans, but plans change. You know, they're saying that he walked out, yet he was still there. What does that fucking tell you? He was there. Obviously, it would have been great if this if he was there the entire show or whatever. But hey, he was there. He was just basically. But obviously, you you see you if you notice, Michael Cole and Pat McAfee. What what I thought they they were basically cluing in, basically mentioning how they thought that he left or whatever. But I guess you know in a way it was just to fool people. So in a way, they took advantage of that, and Lesnar was there. So all you people that are saying that, you know, ah, see how professional, unprofessional, you know, Lesnar just only cares about himself. Even if he did, guess what? You know what? Here's the thing. You have to understand that, oh, Brock Lesnar is not going to be favored than his, than, the, than, the, than our beautiful midgets or whatever. You have, to, you have to understand that Brock Lesnar should be treated better than all these guys because let's be honest, he's the best worker there, Okay. And not just that, everybody's shit is not worthy of fucking beating Brock Lesnar. She should be on their knees, fucking bowing. Thank you, Brock, for saving this shit. So don't fucking say, you know, oh, Brock Lesnar bitter. Guess what? He can't. He was there. Not your fucking Sasha and Naomi. And fuck, who fucking cares? They suck. You guys fucking complain that, you know, and yeah, there's people down there want them back that Vince McMahon. No, they should be gone. Stay gone. You're garbage, both of you. You're ugly too, both of you. Fuck off. We have a fucking beautiful man, an alpha male. We have a man who's actually the fucking badass. The man who every man wants to be and every fucking woman wants to be with. You know what I mean there? For God's sakes, he's fucking sable. Who fucking cares that what this guy? He's fucking Sable. Fucking hey, what a man Brock Lesnar is. Okay, what a fucking man. Brock Lesnar's the fucking man. Ay ay ay. Uh, so wait, what a fool f you that a lot of people take it, man. I'm happy that he did not leave. I'm happy he actually showed up. It's like, fuck yeah. You know, what does that tell you? Like, it proved all these fucking smarts wrong. 
And also, it just fucking goes to say, like, wow, fuck you to these fucking... To Dave Meltzer, fucking Brian Alvarez, and all these fucking dirt sheets. Like, obviously, I was, like, sad, like, if this was true, like, because, I mean, hey... If he goes, I go, fine, you know? And, like, because, again, like, that just shows the show, like, you know, like, Brock, like, that fucking, you know, Vince McMahon was take, was was out without, like, was forced to be out of power. But also just goes to show, like, you know, again, loyalty. But not just that, it's just also, like, it's like it's like that kind of, like, if you're, like, you're a fan of a director, right? You work for your favorite director, whatever, that kind of shit, right? And people, like, don't understand that. You don't understand also freaking... Like, just, like, who, who, why if they wanted to do, have Brock Lesnar do stupid shit that's, like, not, like, his character? Which, like, again, imagine. Oh, Sami Zayn. I worked hard. I'm the best. I worked hard to be here. Let's have a good match for these fans, Brock. You know how stupid that would be? That would make not, no sense for Brock Lesnar. Brock, look, you gotta make shit that makes sense for Brock Lesnar, okay? Because he's a fucking badass. And what they did tonight, even when Vince McMahon's not there... He was badass. So I guess they still have a brain even though that Vince is gone. And all you people say that, but who knows? Maybe this was what they've been doing the entire time. And if you guys really think that Vince was so, in, like, well, they basically did the same show that even if Vince was there, apparently. The show was still the same shit. So maybe this entire time, the show was basically still both the same way. What does that tell you? I don't know. Anyways, grab your Coca Cola, drinking my new six five makes some bitches go, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. And thank you, Vince McMahon. God bless him. So I can drink my Coca Cola, man. It just sucks that, uh, you know, it takes some. I had to take a break in terms of, of drinking my Coca Cola magnificently due to the sickness, but I'm, I'm okay now. But wow, but like, just go to show like wow. What if, I hope people start opening up about this whole Dave Meltzer shit. You know, this just go, opens people's eyes. Like, what does that tell you? Like, wow. Like, it just goes to show how much BS that fucking Dave Meltzer is. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, wow. So yeah, maybe that. And if people were worried, apparently, oh, they were bring gonna bring back Goldberg, even though like. Like, that's a problem. Like, listen. This whole Goldberg hate has gotten out of control. Like, why? Because it was out of control that he was booked to beat all your smarty delights? Is that why? Oh, but because, you know, he... He has muscle. Like, I don't fucking know. I don't get it. But, yeah, so... Yeah. But anyway, so, wait, wait, that just basically destroys all the fucking arguments that people saying that, oh, you know, Steve Sa uh, you know, Sasha and Naomi were right, you know, they're, they're probably more professional than Lesnar, even though they still left. Man, you guys are, it's amazing how they did it. It's funny. It's it's funny seeing all these fucking smarts are like fucking crying and now Lesnar's back. Like they were happy that Lesnar was gone. They're saying, you know, Naomi, Sasha, and whatever. Kept mentioning that shit. Bashing WWE. Yet, because Brock Lesnar actually didn't leave and fool all these fucking smarts. It's fucking hilarious. Like, it's good on fucking whoever booked this shit, in a way. Even though it's like fucking like, wow. Maybe just like this entire time... Maybe, like, you know, the show could have been good, but anyways, whatever. Haha, <laughs> Lesnar didn't actually fucking leave, people. Haha, <laughs> we still have Lesnar and Reigns. What, what that means you're still gonna have Reigns and Lesnar? <laughs> I thought y'all don't want Goldberg versus Le uh, Reigns. Uh, I mean, Goldberg versus Reigns, because since that was the apparent rumored match. <laughs> Which, I mean, I would think, like, really, they're doing that match again, even though they did that Saudi, but, hey, it is what it is, you know? But, like, wow, like, why y'all hate Goldberg so much? But, honestly, they knew they, they hate Goldberg. It's, like, it's fucking hilarious. Unless, again, the fucking dirt sheets are just bullshitting. So, let's, shouldn't that open your eyes that Dave Meltzer is fucking retarded and all these fucking Brian Alvarez, all these people? Fuck them. Stop listening to these people. Stop giving them fucking glory. They're a fucking bunch of smarts, okay?
The speculating bullshit. Anyway, so let's talk about SmackDown. Show started with Stephanie McMahon thanking her father, Vince McMahon, and then the Smarks. Basically saying that, you know, oh, that earlier today, Vince, my father, Vince McMahon, I uh, retired, and, you know, uh, yeah, she sounded like a cunt, I'll be honest with you, like, so, Stephanie McMahon's gonna be, listen, don't be wrong, nice lady, behind the scenes, apparently, beautiful, but, boy, do I get cutty vibes from her. She announces that, you know, Vince McMahon retired and all this bullshit, you know, and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, like, she just makes thank her father and says some, like, you know, bullshit. Oh, that baby will be for forever, blah, 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 you know. And yeah, thank you, Vince happens. But then, after that, we see fucking shit booking. Basically, usual shit, then... Oh, the Street Profits are off. We're going to go back to doing what we do is entertain you. We see fucking Street Profits coming through the fucking crowd. And it's like, really? Why? And who cares? And then the fucking, I don't know. Just like, yo, man, yo, we going to, we going to Summer Slam Man or whatever. And I don't fucking care. And then the Usos can't, oh, then fucking, what's his stupid name? Fucking stupid Austin Theory comes out. Oh, uh, I'm going to win SummerSlam. I don't fucking know what happened. Then the Usos come out, blah, blah, blah. Says they're going to beat up, I don't know, fucking Austin Theory or whatever. But then they, there's a little brawl happen, and I just don't care. And then, wow, really, who? why would I give a shit about Mad Cat Moss? He comes out, and all this is like, wow, this is what they did with apparently Lesnar not being there. And it's like, I don't care. So it's a stupid dumb brawl, and it's enough for this. It's gonna be a six man tag team match tonight with these people. It's like, wow, I don't care. So it's basically the size again, like, it's your typical form. It's the same shit. I mean, I do give it this, like, at least a match. Like, if it anything, like, it promoted to, like, yeah, sure, the main event instead of just starting with the fucking match, right? Because, like, that's what they've been doing you lately. Like, every time when some brawl happens, it just turns the match straight up instead of fucking, I don't know, building to it. But, like, who fucking gives a shit about this tag match? Like, seriously. Who the fuck wants to see Mad Cat Mass and the Street Profits versus uh, fucking the Usos and Austin Theory? And then you reminded... This is sadly the future of wrestling. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Even if Vince was in charge, like, fucking... Just the fact that this is the future of wrestling is fucking sad. You know what I mean there? First match. Ludwig Kaiser defeated Nakamura with the help of Gunter. After the match, Gunter slaps Ludwig anyways because, you know, he needed his help or whatever. Then Ronda Rousey and Liv Morgan have a face-off backstage. I'm not gonna lie, I just like say like, hey, just fucking make out or whatever. That would be way better. I'm not gonna lie, both women look hot tonight. They're inviting my big black couch. That's all I care about. Just them, you know what, fuck it. Just say, shut up and kiss me and just, that would have been way better. I don't know, they had that fucking hot, hot chemistry or whatever. But it's like, oh, I, 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 I'm going to win the time. You're going to shake my hand. No, I'm going to shake your hand. How do we just fuck? That's what I was just, like, thinking. I don't know. I didn't care. I just didn't care. It was like, whatever. But then, Happy Corbin attacks Pat McAfee on commentary. Then, Pat McAfee and Happy Corbin brawled a little bit backstage. It was fine. It was fine. Then... Pat McAfee goes in the fucking ring and says, you know, I'm going to make sure I'm beat, I'll beat up Belmass Corbin or whatever. So, that's okay, you know. Then the Viking Raiders defeats Jinder Mahal and Stinky by countout. No one cares. I don't know, something with a new day. Then Drew McIntyre comes out after Sheamus. Next week he decides that he, that we're going to, I don't know, Sheamus basically... Comes out, McIntyre then comes out. I don't know what the fuck happened. To Apparently, before this, Sonya Dykeville was backstage with Adam Pierce, and then she gets put in the, some stupid match no one cares about, blah, blah, blah. But then we see Sheamus with a table. 
I don't know, he challenges Drew McIntyre, he comes out and then he challenges him. And he was like, you know, fella, we're not gonna have, we're gonna have a match, fella. We're gonna have a match that, you know, you're not gonna have your sword on, or be able to use a sword like, you know, so it's like essential. I like, we're gonna have a, a, um, a, you know, you're not gonna be able to use your sword and I like, so you're gonna be able to have a, a good old school, Drowns, ground, something, whatever the fuck it is, match. I don't know what to say, like, but it's gonna be like such an alley. Like, good up, family. So, even though the, the a weapon is banned, this is a no disqualification match, but it's gonna be a shillelagh match. Basically, a fucking, sh like, you know how fucking Finley, he used to have a shillelagh. So, it's a iron something stupid fucking gimmick match but we have to only use these things instead of we can't use chairs or tables I'm guessing I don't fucking know and I'm just thinking to myself why isn't this fucking promoted for fucking SummerSlam like at least like like you're not like they're, you're trying to build towards this match why is this happening on Smackdown not that I'm trying to complain like you sure look forward to something on Smackdown but like you're having a pay-per-view Shouldn't you be building towards that pay-per-view? Shouldn't that pay-per-view just be like a street fight? Why do we gotta get a dumb gimmick match? It's like, really? This is like a dumb gimmick match. Like, can you just have a, like a street fight? Because I thought y'all like the fight, fella. Why not just have like a street fight? Well, no. They're gonna do a dumb gimmick match. Shalali. So basically, it's a glorified candlestick match. Yeah, that's what it is. Remember the Singapore Kane matches they did before? It's gonna be a, a Shalele match. Yeah, that's very in interesting. And then they just have to get Adam Pierce like uh, every chance they get to approve this for some reason. Who fucking cares? And who cares about Adam fucking dumb Pierce? Like holy hell. But yeah, we're gonna have a Shalele match. Whatever they're calling that dumb match is. I don't know. It's a dumb match, okay? That's what it is. It's the dumpster match or whatever. It's dumb gimmick match. Like, not that I'm complaining. Like, why just ha not have a fucking street fight for fuck's sakes? Like, a Sanchez, like? Like, I don't know what's going on, like? Anyway, so, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Anyways. Yeah, so, was it a Dorney Brook? I don't even think that's what Irish people call it, for God's sake. Raquel Rodriguez defeats Sonya Dykeville. I mean, the dyke is hot. That's all I have to fucking say. Like, uh, Lacey Evans says she's done more th today than anyone in the crowd. Blah blah blah. And then she punches Aaliyah, and so no match. So this is basically your typical. This doesn't happen till next week, and then it doesn't happen next week, and then happen th uh, then next week, and the next week there, then the next day, then the next day. Cliche. It's gonna happen till when they fucking decide they're gonna have it, the cliche type of deal. And again, this is happening to f former w YWC member Aaliyah. I'm surprised that, again, she's fucking what's. And I found. Uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna say it, but yeah, she was a former YWC member. And, like, this is what's happening to her. Like, whatever. Anyways, hey. At least you're making it big, Aaliyah. You're, on the, you're from the YWC and whatever. Sophia Cromwell, uh, who's basically the manager of fucking, what's his name, Von Wagner, she is Maxine's, she's Maxine Dupree, which people wanted, oh, why not, is, why can't it be Walter's girlfriend? Have you seen Walter's go girlfriend? She looks fucking ugly, I'm sorry, no offense. Fuck it, at least, like, I, I buy it, like, wow. This hot chick is a fashionista, okay. So, first of all, yeah, this is so Simon whatever, even though she has a boy name. She's fucking hot. So I buy into the idea, you know what, She it makes sense that she's a fashionista girl or whatever. I just wish, like, why isn't she the one fucking doing hot shit, you know what I mean there? That's what she should be doing. But anyways, yeah, so... Yeah, they're gonna do what they were supposed to do this week, next week, apparently. I don't know, I don't care. 
Let's announce for SmackDown next week, so I'm guessing a show without Lesnar. The New Day versus the Viking Raiders, because that's very exciting, apparently. Lacey Evans versus Aaliyah, former YWC member. And Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus in a Donnybrook match, like essentially. Like, we're gonna have a Donnybrook match, like, like. And, yeah. The main event, which is a match that no one fucking gave a fuck about. The Street Profits and Mad Cat Moss defeat the Usos in theory by disqualification. Oh, that's a dissension between the heels. Like, why does every fucking heel have dissension? Like, holy fuck. Before the match, you had the Usos, like, you know, saying, you guys gotta work together. And then, then eventually you'll beat up or whatever, which... I guess, you know, smart from Paul Heyman or whatever. But yeah, the match is in DQ anyways. But then, after like, well, that's how they're going to end the show with Austin Theory just doing nothing. But then, wow! Lesnar actually is on the show and the dirt sheets were wrong and lied and whatever. Lesnar actually shows up. Fucking awesome. Comes out. He fucking destroys fucking Austin Theory, gets him two F5s, hit him with a fucking br briefcase. I'm telling you, this guy's the fucking man. And we should owe him a fucking apology. God bless Lesnar. Thank you for entertaining me for like one minute. So one minute of a good thing out of two, do two hours of bull bullshit. We owe him an apology. He did not walk out. A lot of people say he walked out. Again, I'm just going by what the, what was the new rumors. But again, I just went by saying, well, he, like, reportedly he got walked out. But, like, he was there. He's here. He actually didn't leave, people. So, yeah. Lesnar was actually there. Fuck the dirt sheets. So, overall, yeah. Cool fucking ending. But, wow. What a shit show. And even it's the new era or whatever. It's the same shit. The, the Vince McMahon era is dead, and then it's the same shit. It just probably questions you, like, what? Did Vince McMahon did really do anything different, even though he was in charge? And it's just the same shit. I don't know what to tell you. I thought we're... Oh, sure, sure, change doesn't happen overnight. I get that. But, like, people acting like things are going to change or get better. Like, you guys don't know shit, okay? Anyways, let's move on to Rampage for a little bit. So we're going to do a, a stupid fucking spoiler review. Because there was no one giving a fuck about this shit. I'm telling you, this is not worth watching. So I'm not, I'm probably never going to watch Rampage ever again, okay? Unless it's like live or whatever. But like, who fucking cares, okay? John Silver and Hangman Page. Yeah, this is what Hangman Page is doing now. Even though he was a former world champion. What a joke. The Feast of Butcher in the Blade. Claudio Castanoli, a.k.a. Cesaro, is, comes to the ring. He tanks the fans because, you know, I'm happy to be here or whatever. Uh, he's happy to be here in AEW like every fucking Russian that is. I'm happy to be here. Imagine fucking, like, yeah, that's the fucking problem now. Like, aside from Lesnar, then Debbie's going to not hire more indie guys. Like, you think that's going to fucking help the show. Really, indie wrestlers who probably fucking can't draw a fucking dime. Yeah, that's what we need. You gotta hire indie wrestlers that are good, though. Like, that are, look like stars. Not these fucking midgets. But, like, great. Let's hire fucking these people who have no charisma. Uh, he, he says... He says he'll face John and Gresham for the ROH title Saturday. He said the world title is one thing he's ludooning him in his entire career. He didn't need a championship to believe he was the best. He knew he was the best before the fans supported him. And he said, he sees why Grisham believes he's the best. And he's never going to stop in this. And, but he's never stepping in the ring. Claw. Yeah, basically, so this is basically like, oh, typical. I'm happy to be here, but I want to prove that I'm the best in the world. I want to face the best in the world bullshit. Let's have a good match for these fans. It's their typical bullshit. And no one fucking cares. It's fucking boring wrestling bullshit. Lee Martin def... No morality defeat Dante Martin. No one fucking cares. Swear stuck Holloway. Shook Holloway was watching, and grabbed the ropes and hold Martin down. Though, and then Matt Seidel wasn't happy about where morality will hold it. I don't fucking care about this shit. Doctor Britt Baker, Jamie Hayter defeat Sky Blue. It's basically some jobber bitches, and no one fucking cares. We get a rampage rap battle judge by rap star Lil Scrappy. I think you're more more intriguing getting Scrappy Doo. 
fuck's sakes. Mass Caster versus Austin Austin 